Hey guys, it's Haley and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, welcome, so happy to have you. In today's video, we are doing something that's a little bit more off of the path of what I usually have on my channel. I really wanted to sit down and film this kind of mini fashion haul review really quick. Not too long ago, I made a purchase to the online retailer website called Shein.com. I follow so many different fashion bloggers on Instagram Instagram because I like low-key wish I was a fashion blogger and wish I had their fashion sense but without being the fashion blogger I don't know but sometimes I see a lot of them advertising certain pieces from Shein.com it finally got the best of me and piqued my curiosity I wanted to see what it's all about it's a very 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 affordable online clothing website so that's why I was a little suspect at it at first yeah so that's basically what this video is gonna be about make sure you guys are subscribed before you leave and if you are curious at all to see my thoughts review try on haul of the Shein website online clothing retailer then please go ahead and just keep watching all right you guys so Shein is a website that I have heard of myself quite a while ago but it's one of those online websites where it's like Zoffel or anything like that where you're kind of very hesitant to make a purchase just because things are so extremely cheap let's just start off with a couple of the pieces that I got now you will kind of notice a theme to the pieces that I got there are a lot of off the shoulder type of tops and dresses because I'm very into that. The very first piece that I purchased from Shein was this kind of, this is literally gonna look like a freaking drape on video, but I will also insert all the try-ons right here right now as I'm talking about them. So this first top is kind of a ruffled striped black and white off the shoulder halter tie neck sort of top i actually really do love this piece it's a little awkward for me i can wear it with no bra because you know small boob committee right here so that's fine with me as long as i have the neck part tied appropriately it works out just fine because that way i don't have any bra showing the top does kind of fall down pretty low in the back i really do think this is a nice piece this is one that actually feels pretty expensive when you touch it it feels pretty thick the material the ruffles everything i think it's so cute the way it sits this one was a hit for me so yeah that one was 22 dollars. and for reference i got a size small and i will put the links if i can still find them on the website to each piece in the description box down below in case you guys are curious the next piece that i got is also an off the shoulder kind of top it looks like this it's sort of a pink and white crisscross kind of pattern it's very summery very very pretty i actually really do love this top i wore this for my birthday this year out to dinner i think it's very flattering the color looks really nice this is called a flounced layered neckline bell sleeve top again i really do like it it's not quite as thick and heavy as the first top but for what it is, it's still really nice. Like I can make it work and it was only $16. It's really adorable. I love the color and I love the off the shoulder top. It's very comfortable, easy to wear. So this was another thing that I was super happy with in my purchase and I also got that in a size small. The next top that I got was this sort of really dark royal blue cross neck, cold shoulder, long sleeve kind of top. I love, love, love these kinds of colors on myself personally. I think it's very flattering for my skin tone and for my blonde hair. This top is really lightweight, very comfortable. I think it looks very beautiful on. The only thing, it kind of slips down on the side a lot, so I would probably constantly be checking myself to make sure it's not coming down too low to where you can see my bra. It is a pretty sheer top, so I don't know. I would probably just have to make a bandeau work. Maybe if you had a lacy bandeau then it wouldn't matter as much but yeah that's one thing to note and I think you guys can see that in the video and this was only $12 so again extremely 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 affordable I also got this top in a size small the last two pieces that I had purchased from Shein were two dresses and the first dress is also that same kind of really royal blue color I actually kind of do love the detailing, the laser cutting that's up on the front of the top of this dress 
I think it is very cute. It also has the same kind of scalloping detailed on the bottom. Very easy to wear, very comfortable. It's kind of a little boxy. You could probably wear a belt with it to give yourself a little bit more of a waist, but like I said, it's super easy to just throw on really fast if you have to go somewhere. I was kind of on the fence about this, but I just tried it on again and I, I do kind of like it. It's a little weird. The material is like very, it's very soft, but very, I don't even know how to describe it. It's hard to explain. There are no tags or anything on this, which is kind of weird. I don't know. Let me guys know if you guys think it's cute. I think it's kind of cute. I love the color. This was $19 and I got this as well in a size small. The very last piece that I had purchased was this white cream colored cold shoulder dress. This is the one thing that I am very iffy about. It fits very funny in my shoulder chest area. I do have broader shoulders, so that could be why too. I'm not like a super small frame, but it's very tight in the arms. I feel like a, like a penguin. I can't move my arms up very high. And it's honestly super see-through. It's very hard to wear a bra with. And even if you go no bra, which you know, I kind of did that. It, it's a little suspect in real life. I probably wouldn't actually do that, but very lightweight and comfortable. I love the idea of this dress, but it just, it, I don't know. This was the one thing that I kind of regret purchasing. It's not that great. I'm not a fan of it. I got this in a size small and it was $13 just for your guys' reference. All right, guys. So my final thoughts on the whole Shein website. <sighs> I think I was able to get three really great pieces that I do appreciate. I think you can go to Forever 21, find something that's a very similar price and it be a slightly better quality. It's very hard for me to shop online because it's always hit or miss, you know, things don't really fit correctly. Shipping was pretty fast. I don't think it took any longer than a week. I think I ordered it on a Friday. I always end up doing that and then it just, you know, it takes longer to get here. I had no problems with the customer service at all. It was great. I love, love the off the shoulder tops that I had gotten. The blue dress, I'm okay with. The white one, I probably will not wear. It fits really weird. So, you know, there was some good things and some bad things. I just wanted to create this video for you guys because I love seeing people who actually had purchased from websites like these to see if it's actually like legit or not. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like completely 100% approved, but I think it's a website that you can really find some really awesome staple pieces, some unique pieces for extremely affordable prices. If you guys are curious to know any of the information about any of these items, the website, whatever, I will leave it all in the description box down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and I will talk to you very soon in my next one. Bye guys!